Are the cats not enough? Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 5-2 Toys Beast Box, Romeo and Boney. So here we are, and there they are, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. We'll start off with Romeo. He is BB-51A. Here's a nice little piece of artwork there of Romeo. On this side we have Romeo. On this side we have Romeo. Up top, Beast Box on the bottom words and things and stuff that I cannot read on the back of the box some obligatory product shots even though it's really more illustrations but you know things showing you what it can do um we'll, we'll we have two of these to do we're not gonna do it twice but that's it for Romeo's box and now for Boney his name is Boney BB51B again nice image there of a bony on this side, bony on this side, bony up top, beast box on the bottom, words, things, barcodes on the back, product shots, and we have Sad Pac Man. And that's basically it for the packaging. And you do also get some collector's cards. Here is the card for Romeo. Nice image here on the front and on the back. You have some like text specs and you also have a bio if you want to read that and here is the card for bony again nice image and on the back some text specs going on there stats and again a bio if you want to read it now you have the two cards hooray for hooray for cards then moving right along here, we have Romeo and Boney. And uh, first off, I just want to say a big thank you to the good people at 52 Toys for sending these out my way to take a look at. Thank you so much. Now, these two right here are part of what will be a combiner. This is a four member combiner. So from canines, they will combine into like this weird looking dinosaur thing, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm reviewing these two together because they're essentially the same mold. So it'll just make life a little bit easier for me. But when you have all four members together, they do have some play on their names. But we'll get to that when we review the next set. So first, we're going to focus on Boney because he's the red and black one. Therefore, he is my favorite of the two. But let's get it close here so we can take a look at those details. Got some nice trans-clearing green there for the eyes. And done in red and black and silver, you have some white tapographed details throughout. Some caution like stripes going on there or these little transclearing green blades which you can have on these front legs you can plug them up here also but that's where they go on Romeo. but you can do it either way but this is how they want them on uh on bony here again you got some nice little tamper graft details there transclearing green tail you got some silver you got some yellow in there and the palsy poles oh no Pretty cool, there is the top, there is the bottom. He slides like canines should slide. Hooray for sliding canines. Anyway, articulation wise, um, the head can move up and down. One very clever bit of engineering here is I love how they have this piece attached. So when you raise his head, it pulls it up and it fills in that gap. Some very clever engineering here. The head can also rotate from side to side, not too far because this neck piece will hinder it to a point, but you can still get a decent amount of rotation there. Uh, the mouth can open and close. The ears can also move forward and back. The neck itself can move up and down. Oops, we just we dropped that. I'll show that off later. But the head can move up and down. The front legs can do a full 360. They can move in and out. That's a transformation hinge, but you can use it if you want to. Um, you can also get some forward and back movement there. You have rotation right here. Movements at that joint. This joint can move downward. The paws are on the ball joint. So you have rotation up and down. These blades, you can kind of angle how you want. They're on a double hinge here, so you can really do what you want with those. Um, as far as the waist section, it's squeaky, but it does rotate. It does move downward it does move upward only to a certain point then it stops but it can move downward a lot you also get some side to side action as far as the hind legs go they are on the ball joint as well you can rotate them full 360 move them in and out you can move them up so you can take a leak you know the way dogs do and you have this hinge there that goes forward and back you have rotation as well 
this inch. Again, squeaky, mom moves forward and back, and again, those rear paws are on the ball joint. And as far as the tail goes, it can move up and down. Now, as far as accessories go, um, it fell out while I was showing off the articulation, but you can open up a little chest panel here, and you can pull this out. It does tab into a little, I don't know if you can see, a little groove right there. Just tabs into. You close that up, and it's basically a, uh, it's a bone, but what it really is, is a C4 bomb. You can see. It's done in transparent green and then painted over. And if you want, you know, you can have bony, you know, holding it in its mouth. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. There is a port in his mouth also, so I guess you can use this post here if you want to do that. Although it's kind of not easy to do that. But, you know, you can have that going on. I don't know. But it's it's there for reasons. Because reasons. I don't know. But it's just a lot easier to just <laughs> take it and go, Burp. there you go. But hey. Again, things you can do if you want to do it. So, there's Boney. And now let's take a look at Rormeo. Oh, Rormeo, wherefore art thou, Rormeo? But you can see we do get a different head sculpt here. Rormeo has a nice transparent red visor over the head. You see that bottom jaw is also a different shape there. And... He is more white and black, with some bits of red here and there. And you see these pieces you can plug into the sides, and adjust those however you want. Again, that's all tampographed details throughout. Little red tail. But there is Wormio. Um, the articulation is exactly the same, so I'm not going to go through it again. And also, if you open up, Wormio's chest. You also get the bone here. And Wormio's is a, you can see here, it's a smoke bomb. So Wormio gets a smoke bomb. And again, if you want to, take it in Wormio's mouth. And there you go. And there we have our two dogs. And that is basically it for the canine modes. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> that didn't work. That didn't work at all. But. All right, let's get down to transformation. So the transformation on these two are exactly the same. The only difference is when you're transforming Romeo, you do have to remove these and plug them in down here. That's the one thing you do have to do. You have to do a little bit of parts forming. What? Parts forming? Shh. It's okay. It's okay. But it's the only little bit of parts forming you have to do with Romeo. But if you don't want to deal with that, you can just leave these plugged into the legs. That's totally up to you what you want to do. So we are going to transform uh, Romeo. Actually, no, we're going to transform Boney because he's my favorite. He's the red and black one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get him into box mode. Now you want to remove the bone and put that off to the side. So what you want to do is you want to take the front legs. You want to rotate them. These little transparent blades here, you do kind of want to just extend out, get them out of your way. Bring this up. This tab has a little groove that will sit in here, and also a little tab slot connection right up in here. So just take that and plug that into place, and just bring that paw over. And again, just kind of leave these out. Keep those out of your way. Uh, second burst, just like the first. Just rotate that. Get this up and out of your way. Rotate this up and tab that in and bring that over like that next up you're going to take his head just bring it all the way down you're going to open up his chest and then take this entire assembly bring it all the way down you're going to take those ears and bring them all the way back and that's how you want that looking there then we're going to come back here we're going to flip the tail all the way in. We're then going to take the legs, rotate them 180 at this hinge up here. Do the same thing on the other side. Just rotate that all the way around like that. And then you're going to take the hips and you're going to just bring them together. There are tabs and slots right there. Just bring them in and get that all nice and squozen. And that will sit there like that. You then want to open up these side panels here. Just open that up, open that up. So you now have the clearance to rotate these legs forward like that. 
You're then going to rotate the paw up. You can see there's a little tab here. And you're just going to bring all this up. There's a tab slot connection right here and a tab slot connection right up here. So that will just tab in. And this will basically just kind of go into one of these grooves in here. So you can sit that in there like that. Once you do that, you can close these panels back up. And second verse is just like the first. Just rotate that paw up. Bring that up. And that will tab in, tab in, and then you can close these back up like that. Next thing you want to do is take these front legs and just rotate them up. This is just to get them out of the way, and you're going to take this entire waist assembly here, and you're just going to bend it in like so, and you have tabs that are going to go into notches in the ears. So once you get that in place, those will just tab into those notches right there, and sit like that. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take these blade sections here. You want to rotate them down like this, and then bend them down at this hinge up here. So basically, you're squaring them off like that, and then you bring all of this down. You're going to have a tab slot connection right here. So just kind of line that up. And you're also going to have a tab slot connection right in there as well. So just line all that up. Same thing on the other side. Just get everything lined up and tabbed in like so. Get that tabbed into the side like that. Get everything all squared up as squared up things should be. Get it all nice and squozen. And the last thing you're going to do is bring in his, uh, his bone here and it's going to tab into these two slots right here. So just plug that into those notches. And there you have Boney in his box mode. You got better spin there. But there is Boney in box mode. And that sure is a box. That sure is a box. But again, some clever engineering going on here. Make these beast boxes transform into the same basic shape. Always, always impressive. And here is Romeo in box mode. So you can see what they look like together. Just two boxes, just two boxes hanging out. And of course you get the box chargers here, which you can open up and drop them in and they can sit in there and they can charge. And as always, these are modular. So if you want, you can connect them either side to side or stack them like so. So you can have a whole wall of these if you want to. Pretty cool. Okay, so we got them back into their beast modes because now we're going to go into combined mode. So these two are going to form the main body here of the dinosaur. And uh, either one can be the front or the back. It doesn't matter. You can have whichever one up front you want, whichever one on the back you want. Totally up to you. Uh, for me, uh, Boney is going to be the front and Romeo is going to be the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform Boney first into his combined mode. So to start off, we're going to do as we did before. We're going to open up the chest, bring the head down, and tuck all of this in. And bring this up. Bring up the ears, like so. You're going to take the tail and flip that in, like that. You have these panels here on the hips that you want to bring out. Bring all the way out like that. So what's gonna happen here is you're gonna take, you have multiple hinges to work with here. You're going to basically bring all of this up, bring all of this back like so. And you have to just kind of adjust everything and you want it sitting just like that. And you also want to rotate the leg at this hinge here. Uh, that's sitting like that. Second verse is like the first. Might be beneficial to actually rotate this first. There we go. Then flip that out. And you're going to, again, just bring all these hinges out. Bring all of this in. Have it sitting in. And then the legs have multiple connection points here. So you just get everything lined up. And just start tabbing it all together. The paws you want to rotate in. Tab it all together. Tab it all together. One more here, right up top, and tab it all together, and you have what looks like that. So now what you're going to do with this assembly is you're just going to fold this up, 
That'll just stay right up there, and you're going to open up these panels and flip out these little transparent green sections here. So flip all these out. Flip all these out. Open that up. Flip these out. This is basically going to form the mouth, and these are like some mandibles going on here. And <laughs> there you have the head all done. Now, as far as these legs, which will now become the arms, you're just going to rotate them around. Just kind of bring these paws down. And these will just extend. And you just want to angle these down like that. So again, just rotate that. Just extend this on this double hinge. Just kind of angle that down or however you want. Totally up to you. And... There you have that, and then you have these two posts here that you're going to flip down. And there you have Boney in combined mode, and that is just a weird looking dinosaur monster thing, but you know what? Hey, why not? Dare I say why not? But there is Boney in combined mode. So now for Rormio, uh, first and foremost, just make sure you have these blade sections attached to the legs. That's where they need to be. But what we're going to do here is just rotates the legs and again just kind of get these out of the way because you're going to bring these up basically like you go into box mode just bring that up and over and that will sit there same thing on the other side just rotate that leg just extend that up and again just line all this up tab it in and bring it up like that then you're going to open up the chest and bring down the head, flip the ears up, make sure that's tucked all the way in, bring that up, so you are looking at that. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take these front legs, bring them up on this hinge, bring them all the way up, like that, and they're just going to, there's no connection point, but they're just going to kind of meet up top here. Take these blades, straighten them out, and just rotate them back, bring that up. Rotate it back, and that's what you want that looking like. Then you're going to come back here, flip the tail in. Now, as far as the legs go, we're going to do the same transformation that we did on Boney. So, rotate the legs, open up these panels here, and then just use all of these hinges and bring all of this down. Straighten this out, get that all sitting nice and square again extend all these hinges out and once you've done that just start tabbing everything together oh, and also rotate those paws in and just start connecting everything together using those posts and ports Get everything sitting just right oops There we go, there we go, um, there we go. So you got that going on. So once you have it in this orientation, you're just gonna take this whole assembly and rotate it up like that. And the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, uh, the bones here and they're going to plug into either side. There's a port right there and a port right here like so and there you have Romeo in combined mode and again it looks weird but hey that's that's the rest of the body and i assume that's the tail and there we go and then we can bring in bony and connect the two together just use those posts and ports plug them together and that is what you end up with and the other two will become the legs but that is the main body that we are looking at there. And that's pretty weird, but pretty cool at the same time. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And again, if you want Romeo to be the head, you can totally be the head. Again, you can do this however you want. But there you have the main body of our weird dinosaur monster combiner thing. So there you have Romeo and Boney. And uh, yeah, very cool. As always, I am... 
impressed by what the people at Five Two Toys are able to do with the engineering and getting these different beasts and you know characters and whatever to transform into the same size, the same basic shape. It's just again boggles my mind. So they're definitely some engineering geniuses as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, some cool looking dogs here, and you know I love that they're going to combine. Once you have all four of them, they're going to combine into this weird you know dinosaur monster thing. That makes it even better. Just lots of playability here. But yeah, very cool, and at a later date, I will review the other two, and then we can take a look at the full team and the full combiner, so. There you go. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for 5-2 Toys items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my 5-2 Toys a playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the 5-2 Toys, Beast Box, Rormeo, and Boney. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face!